Hi, I'm Kathleen, and today we're going to be doing an Embark DNA test on Riley, our French Bulldog. She's about seven months old now, and she has a great temperament and structure, so we're excited to evaluate her further as a potential candidate for our breeding program. Uh, we have ordered an Embark DNA test. We've done these on two of our other dogs now, and I wanted to demonstrate the process because when I first did it, I had questions about how you went about doing it and how the return time went as well. Um, we've had good experiences so far. So you'll first order your test online and you pay at that time. Some other DNA tests are different in that way, um, but you pay when you order it, when you choose your kit. There are kits for both um, just pet owners and also for breeders. We went ahead and got the Embark for breeders. So it just comes in a cardboard box and then has the envelope like this inside of it. I think the pet versions might have a little bit fancier packaging. Um, but basically both types of tests offer the same results as far as breed and health testing. Uh, but there's some extra features for breeders such as the matchmaker tool where you can compare your dog to other potential mates and see how their traits line up, like what you would end up with as far as um, traits that they have, like color traits. So we've got the Embark for Breeders, it comes in the envelope. You get your swab kit like this. You get a little card with the simple instruction reminders. I do recommend going on the website and reading thoroughly through um, the instructions and the FAQs. There's some things that aren't on this card, like they're not supposed to eat for about an hour before the test as well. If you have nursing puppies, if you're doing this on a litter, they shouldn't nurse because they'll have mom's DNA as a potential contaminant in the sample. So you don't want mom's DNA, you want puppy's DNA. And then it comes with the return label, the postage is paid, you just fill out your name, and a little sleeve to put the swab in. So what we're gonna be doing is you swab, you take the swab out of the package, you put it in their mouth for 30 to 60 seconds, and then you put it back into the blue liquid portion, and you shake it 10 times, place it in this baggie, place it in the shipping envelope. So you may think, uh, why would you need to do a DNA test on a purebred dog? We do know that both her parents are French Bulldogs. She's a French Bulldog. So unlike some pet owners who might have adopted at the shelter, you don't know your pet's background. This is going to tell us other things like her genetic health. Um, it's gonna let us know whether she carries or is affected by over 200 genetic health conditions. So that's important to know for responsible breeding. And then it's also going to let us know what colors she may carry for in her DNA for color and patterns that she doesn't necessarily show. Um, you'll see here in a second, she's a fawn pied masked. And uh, I do know that her daddy carries blue, so she does have a 50% chance of carrying blue. And if she did, would be able to make puppies that are or carry blue, but she doesn't show it. So we wouldn't know unless we did a test. So we'll have Riley come up here. Come here, come here. Hi, sweet girl. And I have a towel down just so she doesn't slip. She's kind of freaked out about being up on the table, but that also works to your advantage if you have a wiggly dog or puppy, helps them hold still. Hi. So we're just gonna open the swab. Hi, hello. Hello. And you only want the swab to touch inside of your dog's mouth. You don't want any of your other dogs to get it. Um, and you don't really want to rub it on stuff, but basically you just lift up their cheek and put the swab in their mouth. Try not to let them chew on it too much. We'll do this for about a minute here. Don't chew. Yash. And we'll do some head scratches so that we don't get a little distraction. There's a good girl. Is he getting swabbed? Yes. They tolerate it pretty good. Um, we've done this on our Husky and our Pomeranian as well. If they spit it out like that, just go back in and kind of in between the cheek and the um, gums of the teeth so she can't chew it. I'm trying to put it in the side of her mouth and kind of wiggle it around to get some slobber on the tip. I think we've been maybe about a minute. Okay. And we've got nice a nice juicy swab. Then just unscrew the blue top. Oops, see I hit it on the table like I said not to. I did clean the table before this though. And you flip it over and put the tip in. Make sure you've got the cap screwed on tightly and then just invert it 10 times. Okay. 
and it absorbs a lot of the liquid. So you'll see that absorb up in. And then place it in to the clear. And it does say on there to make sure and not do this like on a Friday evening if you're not planning to mail the sample back until Monday morning. Try to do it as soon as you can to the time that you're gonna ship. It is stable. Uh, that's what the liquid does, but it's just a good practice to do it close to the time you're gonna ship it. So we've sealed that into the clear and we're gonna seal it into here. And then you just pop it into the mail. It's prepaid and it fits right in the drop box at the post office. It says on the website that it can take two to three weeks to get results and it may be up to four to five due to COVID. Um, we have done, like I said, two other dogs and it was definitely closer to the two to three weeks mark on those. So it doesn't take forever, but something to think of, especially if you're testing puppies um, before placing them in their homes for the new owners. So that's another reason I wanna do this when we compare looking for a stud for her. Obviously, um, structure and temperament are number one always for us, but it helps to choose between so many wonderful studs that are available to uh, know what the color potential is for the litter and choose for what we're gonna get for that. And then we'll do another video on the results. This video is not sponsored by Embark. I purchased everything um, for myself for all of our tests. We have not been sponsored, but I am happy with their product, their customer service, and the turnaround time. They send you email updates throughout when they receive the sample at each step of processing. You even get some of the data released uh, in stages. So if they have the breed verified first, they'll send you an email with that, even though um, the health may not be ready or vice versa. I will link a coupon code down below for both the pet owner test and the breeder test. And we'll be back with results.